Hello everybody and welcome to another Valheim video. Today, because of your comments in the comments section, I was able to figure out what I was missing in my last planes video, which was flax. So now I have a bunch of flax and barley growing up here in a little tiered garden. Isn't finished yet, it's just where I wanted to put the garden, so that's where it is. Um, what I'm going to do is place the windmill and the sewing, um, sewing wheel so that we can be lined up for when we are ready to make our armor. I actually want to put the windmill back here because it is close to my artisan's bench. Um, and I didn't realize that I would need to be close to my artisan bench in order to build it. But anyway, we're going to put it back here. I'm going to make a cute bridge coming over and then maybe at some point we can transfer our garden to back here to make it look that much better. So. It looks like this is where we need to be able to access, so let's put that down. And now we have, oh, oh no, skeleton surprise right now. Oh, this is exciting. Okay. Oh, let's not fall in the water. All right, here we go. Here we go. Where are they coming from? Where are they coming from? Dun, dun, dun. See, look, this is what I was talking about. The, uh, the locks actually kill them for me. Where are they though? Oh, they're over here. Oh, you stinks. They're coming through the water. Oh man, time to just snipe them off. Come on. Ha. Oh, this is so opportune. I was trying to get a raid going when I did, or an invasion going when I did my other video. Wow, I'm missing every shot. Too excited. That's what happens. Um, I was trying to get an invasion going when I did my other video, but they just didn't seem to want to show up. And I think the skeletons are definitely the easier of the invasions to deal with. Oh, oh, what the heck was that? Is there a ranged one around here? Some oh, jeez, Louise, they're all in the water. Oh, all my buffs are wearing off. Oh, look at how many of them there are. Oh my goodness, are we getting attacked on any other front? I don't think so. Oh boy. This is hilarious. There are so many of them. I didn't realize... There were this many. My last skeleton surprise was not this many skeletons. So this is, oh geez Louise. This is definitely, <laughs> it's like whack-a-mole. <laughs> so yeah, this is what it's like to defend the home base. Holy moly. Where are the rest? It doesn't look like that hill is getting hit at all. So that's really interesting that the archers spawned in the water because I've given them so little ground space to spawn here, they are in the water. So let's use our tower for, aha, there they are. I was going to say, let's use our tower for what I built it for and see if we can see, oh, they're tired of fighting. Well, that wasn't hard. Oh, oh, where, oh, they're all right here. Okay. Well. Thank goodness they're so easy to kill. Can you imagine if that was a goblin surprise? Sounds like some kind of soup or something. But can you imagine if uh, it was all skeleton or all goblins that came? I am dreading that day. I have killed goblins, uh, the fuelings. I've killed the berserkers. So I'm kind of worried that because I've done that, it's possible that they get angry at me and uh, try and raid my house. But for the most part, the water is working and is keeping them off of my island. The only thing I think I need to work on is that area over there. So I'll just make it a little bit deeper and make it so that they can't just run up, you know, on the sides. Okay, well, that was fun. So now that we've taken care of that fiasco, let's build a spinning wheel. And I need 20 fine wood for that, which I'm pretty sure I have somewhere. So... Let's go ahead and build our spinning wheel. But I kind of want to make it fit in. I don't want it to be, you know, out of the ordinary. Looks like I almost needed to make this place a little bit bigger, huh? And I don't know if it if it needs to be under... I don't know if it needs to be under anything to work. So let's see. You don't have any processable items. Okay, so this is where I would need flax. And of course, I don't have flax yet. But I do, or at least I thought, I had a little extra barley. So I have five barley. So let's go throw the barley in here. Hoi, we made it, okay. Let's go ahead and put the barley in. Hello, zero processed. Yes, where do I put you? Where do I put it? Ah, here we go. 
Okay, so we've got five barley in there, and I'm assuming we're just going to get flour out of it, which should unlock some um, cooking recipes for us with hopefully some better food. So I'm excited to see how that works. So really, this is just going to be a video of unlocking tons of things and then crafting those things that we unlock. It's just so satisfying to go through all the different parts of this game and do that. It's really a lot of fun. But I think this little island is going to be cute. It's going to have a windmill, and then maybe I can build more tiered gardens around here and outline it with some stone and then we'll have a cute little bridge that i'll build yeah i have so many ideas for this um the building in valheim honestly has surprised me i didn't think i would like it this much because it seemed very simple if you just go back and look at my first impressions video you'll see how much i struggled compared to what i have now it's pretty awesome day 193 let's go see if our flax is done, it looks like it's done. Okay, awesome. So now we are going to have tons of flax that we can put into our spinning wheel. And then we will make whatever flax makes to use <laughs> in making some uh, gear. A few more of these. All right, so that was a ton of flax. That was 54 of it. Now I have to be really careful that I don't use it all. And we've got our barley. So much smaller amount of barley, but we have to be careful that we do not use it all. So, oh, darn it. Oh, there we go. Let's go ahead and put these in here. Load it completely up. Nice. And then we'll see what it spits out. Now I want to go check on this barley that we put in the windmill. And woohoo! Barley flour, blood pudding, bread, fish wraps. Yum. Nice. Okay. So I'm actually going to plant the rest of this barley instead of putting it in the windmill because I need more barley. So we're going to do that. And then obviously we're going to wait on... Oh, here it is. What do we get? Linen thread, padded cuirass, padded greaves, black metal eight gear, black metal axe, linen cape, padded helmet, black metal knife. So this is all the weapons. Porcupine, ooh, and black metal sword. Okay, let's see what we need to craft these. So now we have padded cuirass. I iron? You don't even need black metal for this. I'm so confused. Okay, so we just need iron and linen thread and we need 20 of it. And then for the black metal axe, we need six fine wood, 20 black metal, and five linen thread. Okay, this isn't going to be that bad. All right, let's make a black metal axe, a perfectly balanced axe forged from dark metal with an emerald sheen. Or I might need more linen for, but what I really want is the armor. But I don't need, oh, I don't know. Black metal sword. A thing of death and beauty. It catches the light with a greenish glow. Black metal knife. I don't really use the knives all that much. I do really like swords, though. Um, I'm just going to go for the axe. There we go. We now have a black metal axe. Let's repair everything really quickly. All right, let's see what this axe looks like. <laughs> cool. My character is very exhausted, but I like the axe. Glad I built it. Uh, I'm just thinking ahead to if we need to harvest another resource and we need an axe to be able to chop down the tree. So this one wasn't necessarily for fighting, but it will come in handy in the future, I'm sure. All right, have enough of everything to make the padded helmet. Tier one, a little baby padded helmet, but here is what it looks like. This is a huge step. Oh, wow. That looks like a lot more protection than what I was getting from my last one. That's awesome. I still want to try and get the Drake helmet. I just need one more dragon trophy in order to do that. Get my blue eyes shining through there. It's my little wolf pelt. So that is the first step towards getting the final tier of armor that is in the game right now. So that was the next step in my Valheim journey. I hope you enjoyed it. I do want to hear if you guys have gotten this far and what you think about me 
possibly going and poking the next boss or maybe anything else you would like to see in this playthrough. I've had a blast with it and I just wish I had more time to play more of Valheim and keep going, but real life has absolutely been kicking my butt lately. I've had so much going on. Our property flooded. I had to figure out um, locations for the horses to be while the flood was going on. Lost a bunch of our hay. It's just like, it just goes on and on. Um, but anyway, I hope you all have been enjoying your games, particularly if you've been playing Valheim. The links to my socials are in the description box down below. So that is it for me today, guys. I hope you're having a good one, and I will see you all in the next video.